Hey guys, I hope that everybody's having a wonderful day and welcome back to the channel. This is the Netherlands. We are Frisian. We are stomping and collecting all the land in the new world so we can collect as much trade as possible, even with a 92% overextension. We're still collecting almost a thousand ducats a month. It's incredible. Our, our income is over 1700 ducats per month. Balance of almost over 12 and that's with a bunch of overextension, which you got to remember overextension. Trade power abroad, 92, minus 92%. We're doing okay. Uh, the only thing that would maybe improve our income quite a bit would be if we could steer a bit more money out of here, but it's okay. Um, so the, the goal for today is uh, our truce with Portugal is up in uh, a little under three years here. So we're going to let that let that time come and go. Um, I want the oranges to stay in power, so we're just going to do that. We're just going to let a little bit of time pass. Fight some rebels, of course. Of course, you know. That's what you got to do, right? These Dutch particularists. So we don't have any rebels that I'm aware of. We do not. We have none. Uh, we have some Dutch particularists right here. And that should be sorted. Very good. Yeah, so in the last episode, we conquered the entirety of this coast <laughs> from Kilwa. Very good stuff. Uh, we got our first idea from Naval. Uh, it's funny, I'm surprised I didn't get uh, hardly any comments about it. The main reason, for those of you who are wondering, is the goods produced and the production efficiency with economic. Uh, very strong. And then trade ideas gives you trade power and ship trade power 40%. So it honestly just stacks really well with some of the, better, the modifiers that we're going for right now. A lot of people think that uh, Naval is a meme. Maybe a bit. But I kind of like it in this situation, so we're going to go with it. Um, governing cap is okay. I queued up a ton of buildings. Um, that's fine, whatever. Yeah, I queued up a ton of buildings in our lands. Um, and I also queued up, like, a university for basically every, na every, um, what's, where, where, there we go. Come on, where's my key at? There we go. A university in basically every province in the new world that I could. Try to make our, uh, our colonies nice and rich. Look at, look at all these forces, man. Look how many force limit. Look at this. 81,000, 47,000, 39,000, 35,000. My colonies are strong. My colonies are very strong. Uh, there we go. Uh-uh-uh, I don't think so. Mm-mm-mm. And so as soon as this piece is over, we're attacking Portugal, and we're going to yoink as much of his colonies as we can. It's really going to depend on what the um, war score will allow us to do. Upgrade you to a level 5, of course. More mana is good. We have giant PP because we eclipsed France, apparently. Very good. France's opinion on me goes down like I give a rip. So let's see here. Can I rival somebody? Yeah, we'll rival uh, Russia. Russia is a piece of trash, man. They must be right. Well, let's see here. Um, I can lose the prestige. I'd rather keep the mana. I can use that for dev. Or uh, actually... Boost up our mercantilism. Provincial trade power. I don't know how much that'll really affect it, but uh, even if it affects it a little bit, we'll do it. It's fine with me. Normally, I, I opt into dev, so. And watch this. As soon as we finish up these cores, watch our trade. So, 980, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, pretty substantial. Now we're up almost to 2,000 ducats a month. Incredible. We See, we're at the point in the game where we have more things than we actually have money to spend on. So we're just building a bunch of random buildings now. More sailors, sure. More manpower, sure. More production, sure. All right. So... This is the year. Um, I have a couple of armies over here in the New World. To be honest with you, yeah, I think uh, Louisiana is going to be the main combatant here. California, Cascadia, none of them are going to be issues for us. Um, obviously, we're going to need to actually beat up on these guys themselves. These guys are hunting pirates. Do I have more transports somewhere? Over here. Yeah, let's get these guys home. 
think we're done in this theater for now. Let's get those guys home. They have our Admiral on them as well, so they're good. Hopefully we don't lose any ships to attrition. Go with some galley combat ability. Once we finish it, we'll get ship durability 10%, which is actually incredible. Basically 10% more health for every ship in your navy. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite good. So we're going to imperialism the crap out of this dude. We're going to attack him, take Lisboa, Lisbo, Lisbao, however it's pronounced. And um, bring him down, baby. If they want to get their navy sunk, they can. Bring them in. Um, tax modifier, Republican tradition. I'd rather the burgers stayed loyal, so or the the nobility, I mean. As much as I hate the nobility. Double trade power, pretty good. So, oh come on now, losing a stab for no reason. It is what it is. So. Uh, having his capital is going to give a sticking war score. Our philosopher, he's dead. Where were you and our philosopher die? So, what I want is this. This is what I want from you, Mr. Sir. 92%. What do you mean you're not going to give up colonial Louisiana? Hmm. What would I rather have? Wow. He's asking for a lot for colonial Louisiana. Man, oh, it's expensive. All right. Well, I suppose we're going to cut it up into two wars then. <laughs> it's fine. Only 14 aggressive expansion to take for the entire Louisiana purchase, right? It's pretty good. As you can see, it's going to cost us quite a bit of a uh, war score. Let's see here. Can I get a better general? There we go. We just stack wipe literally his entire army. Really? All right, dude. We're sinking his navy. Actually, I'm not sure if these guys are even like upgraded. Like, if our ships are upgraded enough. We lost uh, four heavies. Put these guys up home and get them repaired. Oops, lost the ship. <laughs> of course we did. Let's upgrade our ships. Get a couple more heavies. Go up to like a hundred. Sounds good. Get rid of this galley. Costly embargo because it looks like we eclipsed the Ming now. Yeah, nice. These guys have 40,000 units somewhere. Where? I don't know. But um, we just need to get these guys integrate or annexed as quickly as possible. Something like this. The Carpet Siege. The glorious, glorious Carpet Siege. Something like this. Unless they got like a 40 stack sitting up here, we're good. Yep. That's it. These guys are all repaired up. So let's come on down here and see if we can beat up on a few of their navies to assert our dominance. There we go. And uh, so that's going to give us the entirety of Colonial Brazil, which is a couple of provinces. And uh, the entirety of Louisiana. I'll keep the truce a little bit shorter. But more importantly, that's going to give us a lot of trade power here. Which is going to steer even more trade into our home node. Looks like Dutch Louisiana is very ungrateful. Um, what is their tariff set? 12%? That's nothing. Why are you so disloyal, man? Oh, just because they're big. Uh-huh. Placate him, I guess. I don't care. Dev you a little bit. A couple of dev clicks over here. Where are you at? There you go. You loyal now? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'll make you rich. All you gotta do is be loyal to me. Let's get these guys all grouped up. Have our ships head on home. I mean, just march these guys home. No big deal. And how about that? That was like a very low effort. Next one, I think we're going to attack Brazil because there's a decent bit of trade here that we could be taking from Brazil. So I'm actually going to take these guys and have them transferred down here with that navy. Looks like some of our colonies are finishing up here. Give these guys a couple of months to repair. We're going to attack these guys and they're allied to Chile. 
and the Papal States. That's kind of funny. What if we just attack them? Well, I guess the Pope Man will join regardless. So we're going to Imperialism, these guys. And we're going to Co-Belligerent Chile, because we'll just take whatever we can from him. And if Pope Man wants to join, he can, I guess. It's going to be to his detriment. Morale hit when losing a ship. Naval leader fire. Not bad. Let's uh, march on over onto his capital here. Looks like we're going to need to get another stack over here, which uh, clearly we have the force limit to do that. So let's just build a full-on unit and get those guys grouped up over here. I'm actually really impressed with how well my game is running on speed 5 late game. A lot of people say that they think late game is boring. I beg to differ. Cause us to lose... What? Hostile privateers cause us to lose monies. Ooh. Let's uh, be careful over here. It's actually a decent, decent bit of men over here. These guys are just going to head on down and see John Pope, man. Free money, I guess. Sounds good, man. I like free money. I like money. Some separatists over here. You guys got a lot of unrest? Yeah, they do. Um, let's have these guys suppress as well. It's a lot of clay we took in that war. Understandable. That you would be a little under irritated. We also have two more merchants to steer. Transfer with you. Transfer with you. Increase our income a wee bit. We're up over up to 21 almost. And these ships. So have we gotten his capital? We're working on it. Yeah, they have a lot of men over here, man. We'll see what we can do. These guys head on down to the Pope Man. Apparently they're going to march the long way around. Can I not do that? There we go. That'll be easier. Get you guys there. Do we have force march? We do. So we can have them force march now. Save us a couple of months. Head on over there. Siege down Pope Man, please. Admin efficiency. We're definitely going to take that in this war. Oh, man. All kinds of rebels. Just don't let them break. Where's the other guy at? There we go. As long as these guys are fighting rebels, I don't particularly mind. Get a general on there so they're not losing as many men. That's pretty bad, man. Let's just take this tech. I don't care. Get Pope Man occupied and just piece him out. As long as we sit here on his capital, we'll be able to get more money. Uh, sure. Yeah, these guys have a lot of men. I wonder how many men they've lost to attrition. A lot. How many men have I lost to attrition? 14? Man, looks like all my boys are losing a lot of money to attrition. We're going to end up taking a ton of clay from Mexico as well, or uh, France as well. In Mexico. Prussia wants to join? I'm alright, Prussia. Thank you. Alright, Pope Man. Here, wipe out your, that army here. They have no right to live. Okay. Carpet Siege. Get up here to Florence. Ooh, there you go. They're hanging out in Pisa. And these guys over here. Get them down here. Wipe them out in Pisa. It's all flatlands. So, easy enough. Boat man is now on medium enthusiasm. Getting on that fort. He will get on there. He doesn't have any alliances I care about. Break that alliance there. Give me money. And uh, just take as much money as I can from you. There you go. Ah, see, that wasn't too bad, Pope man. So... Yeah, they have a lot of men down here, actually. See, I think I saw his navy over here. Hmm, I don't know where his navy went. Looks like we're getting the rebels sorted out over here. Very good. Let's convert more land. Might as well. Might as well. Um, so we have a 52 stack here. What's his army quality at? 26 mil tech. We are on 26. 
So as far as army quality comparison goes, these guys have uh, like no morale and no discipline. So we should be able to win a fight so long as we're not attacking into like a massive, you know, disadvantage location. Okay. See, like we don't want to attack these guys here. So these guys will be, when they're split up is when we want to attack them. So as long as we're there on the 6th, we want to get there on the 6th. So we wait one more day. There we go, get there on the 6th. Should be able to wipe this small stack there. There we go. Uh, okay, that was weird. Apparently not. So now we need to get here on mm -hmm. the 21st, I suppose. I'm just trying to catch some of these smaller stacks out. There we go. See, this is fine. They'll be there on the 31st. They're actually going to get there to reinforce, unfortunately. So we'll flee back over to his capital here. Oh, okay, we actually lost way more men than they did. Let's get artillery damage from the back row. We have a full back row of cannons, don't we? Oh, we don't. Hmm. Well, that's a misplay. Definitely a misplay. As long as we have his capital occupied, we're gonna be okay. As far as war score goes. Ticking war score is in our favor, and he's heading over here, you sons of guns. That's not good. Okay, never mind, we wiped him. <laughs> Just kidding, all right. So, since we got him there, let's get these guys over here. Oh! Turns out when we attack them in territory that isn't uh, super bad terrain for us to be fighting in, we'll actually, like, kick his butt. So that's good. Now they only got 40,000 men left. Most of them are over here. Chile's got a lot of our men, but, uh, be able to do that okay. Just carpet siege down these boys. Um... I suppose we could bring these guys over, so let's do that. So what do we want in this war? I want to take as much land from them as I possibly can, prioritizing coastal lands. Because coastal lands is where all the trade centers are anyways. And we're going to take the coast from Chile as well. Uh, so we'll probably separate piece both of them for 100% is my goal. Hmm. Man, it's a lot of, uh, there you go. So something like this, 125 aggressive expansion, it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to basically full occupy both of them, which we may not be able to do in this war, but we'll see. We will see. So this is drylands. This is all drylands over here. So good territory to be fighting in. go oh my gosh yeah their morale is like abysmal absolutely abysmal all right how's chile's so they're a lot better but still pretty bad so we're doing okay we're doing all right infantry fire bonus would be nice scorch that as well see if we can bait them into there got these guys over here literally lost half their men while on their way over let's have these guys just march on down These guys over here, wipe out that army. Ooh, even better. Not bad. Destroy them all. Yeah, they got a lot of men over here, man. A lot of men. I don't know if I want in on that. Let's t avoid the smaller armies here. Oh, it's scorched, unfortunate. Okay. Okay. I lied. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna use this army here to stack wipe all these armies. 
Nearly army, na nearly naval tradition, rather. Very good. Actually, have you force march as well? No reason not to. Ideally, he doesn't take his capital back. Okay. Try to just cause some chaos over here. Hopefully these guys will lock in over here. Where are those rebels popping? Hopefully not in my lands. Chichimeca. Pretty straightforward. There we go. Don't let them reinforce. Reinforce over here. Easy win. Same thing. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. So we have some revolutionary ideas. I thought that we had crushed the revolution. Am I wrong? No, wrong campaign. Where's the revolution at? Uh, I think I have it here. The Ming. Ming spawned the revolution. All right, cool. Looks like it's spreading into where? My colonial stuff? Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Hopefully it doesn't become an issue for us. So, let's just get, let these guys recover a bit. Give them a couple of months to recover. Yoink that. We're 20 years ahead on tech. Pretty crazy. Finishing up colonies that we've yoinked from other people. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Still finishing up our colonies, baby. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So we're going to have to full occupy Chile in order to separate piece him out for 100%. Uh, and to do that, we're going to need to wipe out their armies. I don't know where their armies are. So they got a big stack over here, and I assume the rest are down here. So let's just slowly but methodically work our way down the coastline. Occupying as much as we can. I think that's going to be the best way to handle this war. And then let my, my vassals come in and occupy the rest, kind of following along behind us. Conga line. All of his dev is on the coast, so... The more that we uh, beat up on them over here... Let's get these guys over here to grab the rest of the heavy ships. How's our income looking now? 1400 from trade, 2200 income. Pretty nutty. Okay, this is jungle. So, those guys in there. These guys down to Sao Tome. He got away, really? I don't think so. Stop right there, criminal scum. Get these guys down to Rio de Janeiro. Make sure we're continuing to convert everything. Brazil's not feeling too good, Mr. Stark. And, uh... I'm just going to get all this occupied here. Good. Let's see if we can scorch a province or two and bait them into a fight. Yes. Perfect. Literally as I'm doing it. So these guys will be there on the 13th. And we'll be there way before that. As long as we can defend. There we go. So now we're going to defend in the jungle. Make sure we got our better general here. Ooh, artillery combat. I think I'd rather have the 10% artillery combat. So these guys are going to go in and get stack wiped. On the minus one. Very good. And let's have these guys run down. Attrition doesn't really matter a whole lot to me. So these guys are not going to have the minus one. But, uh, ooh, actually got away. Really? 10th of February, 11th of February. Unfortunate. That's fine. As long as we can catch these guys up in the savannah here. And they're carpet sieging me. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Chile only has, like, no army now, so let's uh, begin the annex the process of occupying him. That's his entire army right here, actually. So let's head up here and uh, 
make sure we prevent these guys from taking their land back. This is my land. I decree. There we go. I know we're not recovering our morale. Let's uh, not force march for a month. There we go. Get our morale up and then hopefully overrun this 24 stack here. Easy peasy. So, quite the slaughter, I say. We've lost 167,000. They've lost 371. Not bad. Cool. We're going to wrap this war up in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please share your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. Check out our VODs channel over on uh, linked in the description below. And if you want to support us on Patreon like a true legend, it's going to be linked in the description below. We also have a Discord if you want to join that cool community. Also, linked in the description. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Shui Shoot. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Make sure you check out a couple of those videos linked on the right. Don't forget to subscribe. And a big special thanks to the February patrons of the month. Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, M. Dressel, Thara, Blonde Damon, Corbett, T. Jarden, Barkinglad, Glad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, RJ Pilot, and Stolier. I appreciate your guys' support.